Hi guys, welcome to Fierce and Pretty. Honey here. Today I have an unboxing for you guys. It is my last deck that is coming this year and I think probably I won't be getting any more decks anytime soon because I feel that my at the moment I'm content, quite content with my collection so there is nothing on my to buy list when it comes to tarot decks. So today's unboxing is a Kickstarter deck that I've been waiting for a long time, the Infernal Tarot. And what's unique about this deck and what caught my eye and my interest was that it is based on the, the Dictionnaire Infernal. So the whole idea of finding an old book looking at the images and starting to see tarot cards in those images in that book about witchcraft and demonology. So I find the idea so interesting. So I just had to go and back it up. But I thought that I would do this a bit differently this time. I'm going to show you the card images and focus more not to my opinions about the artwork but I will take a moment to read from the book while you guys get to look at the card images. So, that was what was in the package, but let's dig in deeper. So the box is a two-piece hardcover. It says Kickstarter exclusive first edition. Artwork and card designs, uh, Infernal Tarot Publishing. Something wicked this way comes. We have a frog and a skeleton there, a squeezed in demon looking figure, and again the rock riding, the skeleton figure, and the same here. Okay, no finger holes. A snug fit. Nothing. In the inside of the box. And here's the bottom. There is a beautiful matte gilding on the sides, and the backs are also matte, but there's some sort of fingerprints in the first card at least, but not in the rest of them. The finish is kind of smooth and matte. The Kickstarter edition that I backed up was something on the bit more higher end, because the book is a hardcover. And this is how the book looks. Beautiful matte book without the cover. The foreword says, as many of you probably know, the Dictionnaire Infernal was the first known encyclopedia of witchcraft, demonology and folklore. There's a good chance that you know of its existence due to the famous artworks incorporated into the sixth edition of the book in 1863. 69 of these etchings subsequently appeared in S. L. McGregor Mather's edition of The Lesser Key of Solomon. As a result, that's what most people focus on. There is so much more to the original book than those 69 images. When I embarked on this project, 
I was unsure as to whether I could create a full deck using the illustrations held within the book. It was a daunting task. Over 500 tiny illustrations had to be scanned, resized, cleaned and catalogued. Card templates had to be designed that would best show of these historic images to a modern audience. Countless hours were spent researching, prepping, designing, redesigning, all without knowing whether anybody else would find the end result as interesting as I did. Thankfully you did. By purchasing this deck you've helped release what has been hidden within the pages of a book for over 200 years. Many of the folk stories, cautionary tales and historical events from the original text are still relevant to this day. Though, like the card designs themselves, some needed a little more help than others to shine. Translating medieval French folk tales into readable format was always going to be a challenge, but the journey of discovery was enjoyable and interesting. I hope you think so too. For each card I have selected and translated a relevant entry from the original text. Some of these needed hardly any changes, others required adaptation to better suit today's sensibilities. You'll also find alternate artwork, design notes, bullet point, tarot meanings and more in-depth tarot descriptions for each card. These are for guidance only. This deck is yours now and I heartily urge you to define your own meanings using your instinct to guide you. There is room at the end of every suit for you to add any extra notes you'd like to capture. Whilst this project has been challenging and time-consuming, I am incredibly gratified by the end result and what we have achieved. It feels like we've shown a light on a little piece of forgotten history. For that, I'm proud and immensely grateful. Thank you. And what about the author? Eric Pollitt grew up in a mill town nestled in the shadow of Pendle Hill, Lancashire, a magical place steeped in witchcraft and mysticism, site of the famous Pendle Witch Trials of 1612, and George Fox's vision to start the Quaker movement 40 years later. The history, landscape and folk taste of the air area have been used as inspirations by such names as Shakespeare, Dickens and Tolkien. Having been brought up by a tarot reading mother and surrounded by his father's rare and antique books, it was only a matter of time before Eric's curiosity was piqued in all things mystical and mythical. That was the beginning of the journey, and what you hold in your hands is the first discovery. Hopefully there will be many more to follow.
it looks like the majors have two big pages each. as do the minors. Here's the total content of this book, up to 177 pages. So as a guidebook, that's quite a lot. And here we have the last section, acknowledgements. And this is the section in this book that why I opted for the a bit more pricier uh, choice for this deck to get this hardcover book because I think this is a fun idea that the author uh, gave us the opportunity who backed up with a big, bigger amount to get our names into the book and while I couldn't remember what was my uh, what was the level I backed in Kickstarter it's the Divinator's level, because here, if you look, there's me. So, <laughs> at least once in my life, I got my name in a tarot book. <laughs> I thought that was a, that was a funny thing. So, there, I, there is my name printed in a tarot book. The cardstock is quite thin and bendy, so it's really easy to ripple. The sound is amazing, but the cardstock is actually, it feels so thin that the hand over hand is a bit tricky. It's so, so flexible. So that was the Infernal Tarot and I can't wait to get my hands on it and start looking at it. The images look amazing, so there's much to look into in those, but also the book seemed really interesting. A guidebook really worth reading. And whilst I've never seen the Dictionnaire Infernal, now I'm kind of intrigued. Would be awesome to see that uh, source book also, where this deck and the book are based on. But that was today's unboxing. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions on this deck, let me know in the comment box. And also, if you backed up this in Kickstarter, I would love to hear your opinions. How do you find the deck? Do you like it? Until next time, bye guys.